Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, a station where you watch and learn. I'm your teacher, Philaris Tidish. Today we will be looking at English from 1, lesson 3. Our topic will be on, it will be grammar and our subtopic will be on pronouns. And so I expect you as a learner, by the end of the lesson, we'll be able to define a pronoun, to name the different types of pronoun, identify and use the pronouns in different sentences. And so we'll begin with the definition of the word pronoun. And we'll start by saying a pronoun is a word which is used in place of a noun or is used in place of a noun or instead of a noun phrase. Pronouns are important because they help us to avoid repetition either in our speech or in our writing. And we have different types of pronoun and you can list, list them. Personal pronoun, possessive pronoun, reflexive pronoun, interrogative pronoun, demonstrative pronouns, and the indefinite pronoun. We'll begin with the first one, or let's look first at the example as shown. Joyce Karanja said that Joyce Karanja was thirsty. Then Moses Karanja said that Moses Karanja was thirsty too. Joyce Karanja and Moses Karanja decided to go and buy a bottle of soda each. But Joyce Karanja and Moses Karanja had to first ask Joyce Karanja and Moses Karanja's mother for some money. From the example above, you can see there is a repetition of Joyce Karanja in their names with, Joy, with, with Moses Karanja. And so let's begin, at looking at, uh, let's begin with looking at personal pronouns so that we can see how to avoid the repetition of naming. So when we talk of personal pronouns, these are pronouns that are primarily associated with particular grammatical person, that is the first person, second person, and third person. Personal pronouns also change depending on their form in terms of number, grammatical persons, or neutral gender, case, and formality. Examples of personal pronouns, we have the he, she, it, you, are, and they. The he, she, and it are in their singular form whereas the we and they are in their plural form because they refer to more than one person or thing when we talk of the you pronoun it's both in its singular form and in its plural form for example you are a clever student in its plural form we'll say you are clever students and we have three types of personal pronouns as shown in the table below the first person, that is the person speaking. For instance, I'm the speaker. And in this singular form, we'll have words such as I, me, mine. <coughs> Whereas in this plural form, we're going to have the plural of the speaker can be we, us, our. Then the second person, this is the person spoken to, or the, first, the person that the first person is addressing. You. You are and you as in its plural form, we're going to have it as you, just as we've said, the you occurs in its it occurs both in its singular and plural form, you are and you as the third person. This is the person being talked about, or the person being spoken of as the subject. He can have it as he, she, him, or us. In their plural form, we're going to have them as they, their, them, and theirs. Example Joyce Karanja said that she was thirsty, then Moses Karanja said that he was thirsty too. So from the examples, you can see that we are using the pronoun she and he to avoid the repetition. And we want, when we want to place them in their plural form, we're going to use the pronoun they. We're going to look at the impersonal pronoun. The impersonal pronoun it is in its neutral gender. It's neither masculine or feminine, and it's mostly associated with the non-living things such as weather in buildings. For example, it is sunny today. It is my house. The pronoun it is in its neutral gender as it does not state either the masculinity or femininity in the sentence. Look at possessive pronoun. They are used to show ownership or denote possession. The following <coughs> are the words used to denote the pronoun, the possessive pronoun, has, his, mine, yours, ours, and theirs. And they can also be used as subject objects. Example, the house is theirs. The house will be the object. And theirs denotes possession. Can we look at demonstrative pronouns? These are pronouns that point out how far a thing or a person is. They include this and that in their singular form. Those 
and these in their plural form example these are excellent results that pen is yours the word that and these are the demonstrative pronoun we look at interrogative pronoun these are pronouns used to ask both direct and indirect question and they must end in a question mark when we talk of the direct question these are questions which are asked from the first person maybe it's the second person such as what is your name uh what is your name where do you come from whereas when we talk of the indirect question these are questions that are being uh, these are questions where someone reports how he how he or she was being asked by someone else for example she asked what i had done she asked where i was coming from so we can say uh the which is used maybe to ask question concerning both persons and things whereas the who question is used only to is only used to ask about people whereas the pronoun what or the interrogative what is only used to ask about things is used to ask questions about things only we look at reflexive pronoun and we say reflexive pronouns are used to show that the action of the verb is performed on the doer of the subject keyword on the doer of the subject example myself yourself himself herself in an example you can say he hurt himself the doer of the subject is who where the action or the action is being performed to he hurt himself you look at the indefinite pronouns these are pronouns that are used to refer to things or persons in a general way they include someone something anybody everybody anyone few many other some and more in an example you can say someone left the tap running you can also say everyone turned up for the party so the indefinite pronouns someone everyone anybody are the examples assignment for the students fill the blank with the correct pronoun in the assignment you're going to fill the blank spaces with the correct pronoun as using the pronoun that we've listed in our lesson for much and these you can get the reference or you can refer it from golden tips english revision excelling in english students book one third edition published by the kenya literature bureau and for this and more you can contact us on our on our SMS line as shown below you can also reach us on YouTube at Elimu TV you can also get us on Facebook at Elimu TV and on Twitter you can follow us you can follow us at Elimu TV underscore KE thank you for the lesson till next time <laughs>